So, um, there are many options about the spirit because um, some people can like to do it uh, more charming, more maybe gentle. Um, I like this option, but you can also play it a bit more uh, strong, uh, more directive. It's up to you. Um, about the phrasing, we have a kind of uh, historical things to, to know about it, like uh, this kind of bowing. For two notes, uh, two for two. And sometimes it can help to play it with um, uh, holding your bow a bit more here, um, mm. just to have a more light bow and um, to feel just the thing differently. Um, when you're beginning with the a bit, this a bit is really important because it um, just it it will give the spirit of what you will doing, uh, what you will do. If you do it like like tom bim, it will be more direct. If you do it like uh, more resonance, it will be more gentle. So you can choose. Uh, it's important to have a bit uh, really dynamic. Also because we we are um, the bass are not really um, uh, advantage uh, in the big hole for the sound, and sometimes the bass the basses sound a bit um, uh, late and a bit uh, I don't know maybe heavy or something. But it's important to have a clear attack. Um, because it will be more direct. So maybe you can stress a bit that and not to play too like this because it will sound boom, and we want pam, bim. And this is an ornamentation because it could be. This is just, and this are ornamentation. So just play it maybe more um, with spirit. And the difficult thing, just technically, is to have um, precise uh, F, uh, F sharp. So you have to wait with your bow when you are there 
Wait for your left hand and don't begin like this. Just wait for your left hand to be ready. Okay? And you can change the spirit of these two, those two a bit. You have this and this. So maybe this one can be more gentle. So we have a lot of characters in this first phrase. We have this, who can be a bit um, cold, maybe. Uh, this more gentle, more singing. Uh, here, more like a bassoon. And here, this is a line, and this, this is just a ba bass. So, try to separate it. And here, we go to the cadenza. So, uh, maybe here, uh, if we do the harmony, etc. So just listen those harmonies and to understand which is more important than another. So maybe this is classic and this is not because there is a dissonance. This is release. So and this is again ornamentation. Okay, after we have a uh, octava, and um, usually the octava and tava is really expressive because it could do white and he white so you have to be really um, resonant and to be maybe just a bit theatrical with that maybe this part is more uh, singing and here and this jumping thing it's more maybe um, I don't know you can go to your original uh, spirit here. Mm. Like, that's the same idea. And you can play with the notes who, uh, which are with slurs and the notes which are separate. Like, do it really legato? And this is not. 